Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, what's going on with Capricorn and their love life? What are they struggling with? All right. Struggling with seeing things from a different perspective and taking a break and just stopping for a minute. What do you need to look at is your happiness. Happiness. Celebrating. Energies coming in, making a choice on what it is that you want to do, but I feel like you're ready to change things up. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. He definitely looks like he's thinking there, right? The way his hands are and he's determined and he has that look in his eyes like, hmm, like he's really deep in thought, right? Like, I see you. <laughs> All right, the hangman. Struggling with the key to your heart. Three of cups taking a closer look at what truly makes you happy. Letting go of the chatter. There's a lot of chatter around you, right? Cutting out the chatter, cutting out something. There's something that you need to cut out in the future energies, okay? Struggling in a relationship, seeing things from a different point of view, seeing things from that person's point of view, but I also feel that with the key that's being next to it, I feel like I feel like you're just not happy in this relationship. I feel like you're not happy. But I don't feel like you want to give up. But I almost feel like you're surrounded by some energy that's kind of, there's gossiping, there's chatter, there's chit chat, there's other things that are coming into your relationship that are affecting your relationship, right? And I feel like it's wearing you down and it's making you lose interest. Like you're not feeling as happy as you used to be. You've lost that feeling of... You're feeling caged in. Definitely, I mean, this could be a, a friendship, a partnership, a family member. Could be Taurus. What else do we have for s struggling with here? Yeah, you're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back from what is it? You're holding yourself back from what? Fighting for yourself, right? Fighting for yourself, standing up for yourself in a situation or standing up for yourself in relationship or being true to how you really feel. I feel like you're hiding how you feel. I feel like you're hiding your happiness. I feel like you're, you're hiding something that you're feeling. What does Capricorn need to take a closer look at? Like, what is this magnifying glass, right? That there's some deception there, that you're not clear on something, right? What are you not clear on? I feel like it's that happiness, but I feel like it's that back and forth. I feel like it's that give and take. Magnifying glass, justice. You feel like things aren't happening for you. You're not doing for you. I feel like you're kind of deceiving yourself. You're cloudy. I feel like you're focusing on negativity. What is this three spilt cups here? Ha. High priestess. Your true feelings in this relationship. I also feel that there's a lot of chatter around you. What is this chatter around? What is this chatter? What needs to be cut out? Definitely something needs to be cut out. Something needs to be left behind. What is this eight of cups? Communication. 
sharing, right? These, these two, to me, these two mean the same because see how this person's giving back, like sharing and communicating and giving back. And I feel like this represents communication and this represents communication. Talking, talking things out, talking things through. Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. I feel that you feel sad about something. I feel that you are hurt by something. I also feel that you didn't speak up about how that hurt you or how that bothered you. I feel like there are other people around you that are affecting this relationship. I feel that you're confused about the decision that you want to make, but I feel like part of you wants to move on from something, but part of you wants, wants to still hold on to that. I feel like you're not being truthful about something and I feel that you're holding yourself back from speaking up about something that is important to you that maybe that other person has made you feel that it's not that important. But if it's important to you, right, if it's important to you, then that's something that you have to talk about. Then that's something that you have to work through. That's something that you have to stand up for. There's something around you that you have to cut out, cut out, cut out, communication, chatter. There's people around you, cut out something. I definitely feel that there's someone around you that's affecting this relationship. I do feel that... Um, This relationship is important to you. Halting it, taking a step back, figuring out what you want to do, letting go of what's cutting out, cutting out something and then moving forward. There's a lack of communication here. Definitely that's what I feel. What else is going on here for Capricorn? What other messages do you have here for Capricorn in this reading where they're not standing up for themselves and they're deceiving themselves? Healer of the ages. Healer of the ages is surrounding you, wanting you to be healed. What other messages do you have for Capricorn? Door to value. What's important to you? All right, what is important to you? Happiness, relationships. What other messages do you have here for Capricorn? Message in the bottle. There's a message here for you. There's a message. Receiving a message, communication, some kind of communication. Message in a bottle. I really like these cards. These are like, I think, one of my favorites. Message in a bottle. I know that I don't normally read from the book, but I just feel like I want to read from the book. What is message in the bottle? Which I, you know, you have to go with your feeling, but I, I, for some reason I'm feeling drawn to it. So, hey, why not? Message in a bottle, essential meeting, communication, again. okay, that's what I was saying, communication, a sign, I felt that there are signs around you, um, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good, right, message and direction, um, spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today your message is this. Spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. I love it. So spirit has a message for you. Spirit is trying to show you those signs. For me, I definitely see, mine is like birds. Like I see birds places. It's, it's, it's weird. Like I've, I've seen literally a bald eagle in my path twice and it followed me to the barn. 
I've seen bluebirds. I've seen also bugs. Like there's been bugs that I've been around. There's been a stink bug that was around, which represents being patient and taking your time. Um, animals are a big thing for me. So I feel like we all kind of have those things. I also see pennies here and there, right? I'll see pennies um, and repeating numbers. Like I know when something's going to happen because I'll have these signs around me and I know what these signs are and I feel like that's a message to you too is for you to see these signs and these messages that are being brought to you and communication, right? There's things that you have to cut out. But there's messages that are being told to you that you have to open to your eyes to see you're not being true to your, right? Taking a closer look at those messages that are around you. Not holding yourself back from something anymore. All right, any other messages here for Capricorn in this reading? I think, okay, so we're going to go with these two. We have deep knowing, deep knowing, knowing inside, right? Deeper knowing. Magnifying glass is sticking out to me. And then to be fair. To be fair. Don't assume anything, right? As you start to find things out, don't make any assumptions about anything. That just came to me. Don't make any assumptions about anything. Just make sure that, I think, do we have that why? Was that this reading? No. I think that was another reading. Sorry, I've done a lot of readings today. Um, don't assume anything. I feel like that's a message for you is don't assume anything. Make sure that you have all the information. You look all the all the details. You read all the fine print, right? You find everything out that you can. Don't assume anything how someone is treating you or someone is reacting or some, someone that said something or if there's some, something that gets presented to you. Don't assume anything. Don't jump to conclusions about something. All right. Let's get a star dragon. Look at this. I love all these cards. It's exciting. <laughs> other messages for Capricorn in this reading rebirth giving yourself a second chance giving yourself a second chance don't give up on yourself right don't give up on yourself don't give up on yourself don't give up right don't give up giving yourself a second chance we all make we all make mistakes right we all do those things that we're like oh why did I do that Final message for Capricorn. Take the lead. All right, take the lead. And we have the deer. So we have the stag and we have the deer. Look how cute they are together. Bring a gentle touch. Giving yourself a second chance. I feel like that goes with that. Being soft, being gentle. Not making assumptions. If you find out information, if you feel overwhelmed or you feel angry by it, make sure that you take a step back. But I also feel that it's taking the lead in the situation, right? Taking the lead in the situation because over here you're not. You're stepping back. You're holding back. You're not standing up for yourself. Take the lead in the situation to cut out what it is that you need to cut out. Walk away from what you need to walk away from. Communicate to what you feel. Open the doors to what is important to you, right? Don't make assumptions. Being fair in a situation. Listening to your inner voice. Message in a bottle. There's a message coming in for you, right? There's a message that is trying to get through to you that's being shown to you and being open to receiving it. The signs are around you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This was exciting. Hope you liked it too. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.